All right, let's get it zoomed in. All right, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. How is it going? Welcome to A Day with Abdul. Hope you're doing well. Yes, I am in my national attire, the Emirati attire, uh, but not for nothing. Um, I'm trying to make a point here for this video, obviously. So guys, for this video, I am gonna explain to you all about the Emirati traditional clothing. However, only the male perspective because, well, you know, I don't have an abaya, let's say, in hand, all right? All right, so let's get into it. Guys, the MRT traditional clothing uh, have different layers that compact into presenting what you see in front of you. Uh, the, 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 the wear starts with the underwear. Now, the underwear is kind of like, you know, there is a traditional one that you can use. However, I personally don't use it. As you see, my underwear, I'm using a white shirt on top, which is called the Fanila. Uh, this is uh, basically, this is like, you know, everyone wears it. And then the, the, the piece at the bottom or the pants, um, I use these kind of pants. However, traditionally you would fold a sort of a cloth around yourself. Now, it depends on your style. For me, it's this one is more practical, and so I don't have to like worry about uh, like putting it in, etc. And sometimes it falls if you like walk or whatever. So I don't even want to bother. Some people are professional at how they put it together, but unfortunately, not me. All right, let's move on to the next bit. Now, after you wear your underwear, obviously you will put the kandura on. The kandura, as you see, is a um, like a white piece of clothing, uh, usually, let's say, uh, with something called the tarbush. Now, the tarbush, uh, I think it's a word used in different regions in the Arab um, region, let's say, but uh, this is how our tarbush looks like. It goes all the way from your um, from your neck area to like uh, mid-middle of your body. So it's kind of a long, um, basically, piece of cloth that is uh, knitted in a certain way that makes it uh, very ple pleasing to see, etc. So it's, it's a really beautiful piece. I think it's one of the most delicate, uh, what is it, decadent, or sorry, like beautiful pieces of the Amar traditional wear. All right, so after you get set up with the first part of your clothing, you have to put the uh, the, the top piece. Now, the top part, uh, we call it Ritra and Regal. These are the two components that uh, put or make this basically what it is. Uh, now, there are different styles. The one I'm wearing right now, the one you see is the formal style. Uh, usually you would see this in uh, formal events, etc. or some sort of like work for instance. So this is very formal. You have the regal sitting on top. Uh, right inside I'm wearing a gafiya, which is a certain piece of uh, clothing. However, usually if you're hanging out with your family or whatever, you would wear something simpler. We call it hamdaniya. This is a sort of a cloth that you, it's the same cloth basically, however this one you put it around your head in a circular motion. I'm gonna actually show you exactly how to do it so don't you worry. Now guys, finally we move into the footwear. The footwear usually we have a traditional style to it, however again, you know, my take on that is a bit modern. So the one that you see now, it's kind of like a modern take on what uh, footwear is and what we call it is na'al. na'al is the piece of, um, of footwear that we, we use traditionally here. All right guys, finally I wanna show you the winter style. So what you see now is the winter style, completely different than the one we wear uh, during the year. So the winter style would be worn uh, more obviously when the weather gets colder. It's made out of different materials that can keep you warmer during the winter. All right guys, so that is it. This is your 101, let's say, on Emirati clothing. We will move in into the last piece of this video and I'm gonna show you how to wear a hamdaniya. So let's do it. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna show you how to make a hamdaniya, all right? You grab your piece of ghitra or the cloth, a cloth right here and what you have to do is actually kind of make a fold right in the middle right there. Um, I'm gonna show you a little bit clearer when I do this. So what you're gonna end up with is kind of a fold like this. It's kind of folded. This is where the hamdaniya will be on your head. So you put the fold behind your head like this and you bring the full thing in front of you like this and what you have to do is you hold both ends and try to like put them similar size a similar length all right so once you do it this way 
and you have the middle part right there. You hold these two parts. You hold this one part temporarily. You hold the one on your right hand, fold it a couple of times, and then take it all the way behind you like this. And now I need a mirror to see because I don't know how I look. All right. So this is the first fold, right? You, you By the end, you put this part at the end of the letter, okay? Now you come to the second part and you fold it a couple times. You do the same thing. You go behind your head, in front of you. Look at the mirror just to get something decent going. And there you go. You tie it again at this end. And there you have it, guys. You have a full Hamdaniya going. Perfect for... Uh, whatever occasion, casual occasion you're going for. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was kind of comprehensive when it comes to male Emirati clothing. Uh, I made it a little, uh, I guess I had like some, some sort, of, sort, of a, sort of a twist on different things, cause uh, yeah, I like to change things up. All right, uh, hope you enjoyed it with Abdul, ladies and gentlemen, and I'll see you on the next one.